We just pray for his wife and his kids. He was a dedicated father, a dedicated police officer. Friends and neighbors brought to tears. Tonight, the tri-state area mourns the loss of Anastasio Sacos, a 14-year NYPD veteran killed in the line of duty, hit by an alleged drunk driver who just kept on going. And new at 11 tonight, we're learning more about that suspect and what she allegedly said to police as she was being arrested. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Dick Brennan, in for Maurice Dubois. Tonight, neighbors are paying tribute outside the fallen officer's home in Northport, where he leaves behind a wife and two children. And earlier today, a solemn salute as officers line the streets to honor this fallen hero. We have team coverage tonight. Nick Calloway has more on how Officer Sakos is being remembered. But we begin tonight with Ali Bauman live in Kew Gardens with the latest on the investigation. Ali. Dick and Christine, two families are left devastated tonight. Officer Sakos was a beloved husband and father of two, and the woman accused of killing him is the sole provider for her 13-year-old son. She kept her head down during the arraignment tonight as prosecutors detailed the 13-count complaint against her and is now being held without bail. The family of 32-year-old Jessica Beauvais silently supported her in court Tuesday, where she was arraigned on a slew of charges that include second-degree aggravated manslaughter and operating a motor vehicle under the influence of drugs or alcohol. This just 20 hours after police say she hit and killed 43-year-old police officer Anastasio Sacos, a 14-year veteran of the NYPD's Highway Patrol Unit and a father of two. They will never see their father again because somebody did the wrong thing. Just after midnight, NYPD officers responded to a deadly car crash on the Long Island Expressway ramp to the Clearview Expressway. Police say a car carrying four people slammed into a concrete wall and burst into flames. At least one person died. As police were investigating, Officer Sacos was directing traffic around the scene. Just after 2 a.m., prosecutors allege Beauvais was speeding on the LIE when she allegedly struck Officer Sacos, catapulting him into the air. Police officer who died saving other police officers. His partner yelled out and other police officers were able to get out of the way. Prosecutors claim Beauvais kept driving, dragging a safety cone with her windshield shattered past several exits before turning off on Horace Harding Expressway, where her car jumped the curb and police surrounded her. Prosecutors allege Beauvais' car backed up, hitting a police car behind her twice before coming to a stop. That's when she was arrested. Prosecutors claim police body cam captured her asking an officer, quote, what did I do? Police say Beauvais' blood alcohol content was twice the legal limit. She was driving with a suspended license and has a history of traffic violations, though this is her first arrest. Beauvais had been hosting a podcast under the name Phoenix Michelle, which streamed live on Facebook for about two hours before the accident. I'm sorry that I hit him out of here. Prosecutors allege Beauvais admitted to police she was drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana before she got in the car and said she did not know where she was going and followed GPS. She's due back in court later this month, and if convicted of the charges, she could face up to 15 years in prison. We're live outside Queens Criminal Court in Kew Gardens. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. All right, Allie, thank you.